everyone, welcome back to Guitar Emerge YouTube channel. Alright, today we have with us a POC 2 by Electro Harmonics. Alright, one of the most popular polyphonic octave pedal in the market. Alright, just like uh, recently in HX Storm version 3, they released this uh, poly shift, poly wham, uh, poly capo. Those are for chords, right? You can do multiple notes at the same time simultaneously and they can track and they can do the intervals or octave shift accurately, right? Those pedals which are mono, like prior to version 3.0, they can only track single notes. So this pedal is a polyphonic pedal which means that you can track multiple notes and stuff like that all right so this pedal it looks a bit complicated uh, but it's, it's actually pretty straightforward so you have a dry output here which is your actually a dry signal so you can mix as much as 100% uh, dry signal or you can bring a 100% wet signal all right this is your minus two octave minus one octave plus one octave plus two octave all right and then he, on this side you have attack low pass filter and detune the attack is just basically telling you uh, when do you want your wet signal to come in. Low pass filter is how much of the highs you want to kind of remove. And detune just basically makes the sound a little bit more chorusy and uh, a bit more wobbly. Alright, so uh, this is just a clean signal from the guitar into my pedal board. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so I'm setting everything down at zero except my dry signal. So when I turn on the pedal, you can actually hear that the sound is thicken up just a little bit. Yeah, somehow when you just turn on the pedal without even doing anything, it actually is a nice kind of like a fat booster to your clean signal. Okay, so this is the very first interesting thing that I observe about the pedal. Alright, now the second thing that, that uh, I kind of uh, was curious about was the dry FX button. I was like wondering what is that button for? Okay, so after doing a little bit of reading up on the manual, Okay, this dry FX is actually saying that you're going to send your dry signal through this, this side of the pedal, which you can then adjust the dry signal to follow the attack, L, low pass filter, and the detune. So interestingly, so I'm going to turn on right now. Okay, I'm going to set it to the amber. Amber meaning it's just going to use all three. Alright. So again, this is the sound. At all zero. Okay. If I bring back the low pass filter, you get back the highs. So this just sounds like our original signal. Now if you want a chorus -y sound from this pedal, this is not a chorus pedal, but if you want a chorus sound, you can actually bring up the D tune. Okay, and you get a chorus effect. is that you, you get a chorus pedal inside an octave generator pedal right just by playing the detune let's let's put it at max let's see how it sounds chorus -y sound very usable uh, you don't even need a chorus pedal in this case right you can just set the dry signal to go past the the effect side of the pedal and you can achieve a chorus sound I'm not even touching the octave side yet huh? okay the next interesting thing that, that we kind of found out is that uh, by pushing the attack right we can create like a swellish uh, kind of a uh, tone 
So I'm going to push up the attack right now. So you can see that it becomes like swell. So this kind of uh, give you the option of not having a volume pedal for swell. You can set like an auto swell kind of thing with the attack knob. So I'm going to put it at max. Okay, I'm going to bring down the detune a little bit. Now you realize that it's a bit dark. Okay, to bring in a little bit more highs, that's what the Q button does, okay? So there's many levels, alright? Three levels. So I'm going to bring in a little bit more high now. So you, right here, you got a swell pedal, right? Let me throw on a little bit more reverb, okay? from the Specular Tempest. And if you find that it's still very dark, you know what? Let's touch the octave side now. I'm going to do a plus one a little bit and a plus two a little bit. So just get a little bit more highs coming out. Let's hear how it sounds. Alright, there you have it. You got a swell pedal uh, within the POC 2 as well. So you got a chorus sound. No, first you got a like booster when everything is down. Next you got a chorus pedal inside. Next you can get even a swell kind of an effect from the pedal. How cool is that? Okay, so that's by playing with these two dry FX and Q knob, which I think a lot of people don't talk about. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to turn it off right now. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go to the usual way we use the POC 2 for praise and worship. Uh, that is to just have a little bit more of a shimmer with the plus 1, plus 2, and maybe a little bit of the minus 1. Okay, and let's hear how that sounds. I'm going to bring down the attack. <laughs> want it to be too evident you can bring down again the low pass filter right It just fattens the overall sound. See if I'm doing it without. It's still nice, but it just gives you a whole new level. Throw 
on some gain right now from the protein pedal. Bring down a bit of the reverb. Alright, so that's your typical battle kind of a lead tone. Uh, just having a good last reverb, okay, with an octave pedal turn on with slight distortion, and you can get a very huge kind of a lead sound just on the single note and just pumping away the single note, and you get a very, very nice supporting kind of a lead tone. Alright, so uh, yeah, so this pedal can do so many other things. Uh, we have not even dived into the lower octave yet. So if you want something more towards like the uh, anti-shimmer or what the Tempest call it, anti-shimmer, you can actually just bring down uh, the high, high octave. Okay, you bring up the lower octave and let's hear how that sounds. You can bring up the attack for a little bit of swell. Let's bring down a little bit of the dry output. So you can get uh, if you if you know after a while you hear some of the higher octave shimmer and it gets a little bit tiring, take it down a notch. You know, use the lower octave and create a little bit of the darker kind of a uh, ambient kind of a sound. Of course, if you to pump it higher, right, you can get your typical organ kind of a sound. Bring down the low uh, the dry output. Okay, maybe let's bring down the attack. Bring up the octaves, first octave as plus one as well. You can play with a very high kind of a shimmer sound, okay, bypassing the dry signal. All right, let's hear how this sounds. Some sound like something cool. So there's many 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 things that you can do on this pedal itself uh, as we have went through okay um, pretty pretty extensive uh, tones you can get from this pedal to just fatten your sound and many many other effects that you can try like swell chorus 
and, and organ sounds and things like that. Um, so I, I'm pretty impressed by by what I'm hearing so far from the POC 2. No wonder it's such a good, great pedal that many guitarists have on their board. Okay, not only that, you have the option of saving your presets as well. You can save up to eight different presets and you can toggle with this switch through the different sounds. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm still thinking whether should I have this on my board. Uh, I'll let you know real soon after we have decided. Okay, because this takes up quite a bit of real estate on my board. All right, it's quite big in size. Uh, but the tones that you can get from this is pretty uh, interesting and really uh, worth a consideration to get it on my board. All right, so if you like this kind of content, do give us a good thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for the latest videos. Okay, do drop in a comment below how you find the POC 2 and let me know whether should I keep this on my board. Okay, so take care. God bless. I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.